Welcome everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. Have a Divine Masculine Twin Flame read in front of you. And we'll see if I pull any other cards afterwards. I've done a lot today, so this might be it. But anyway, you have the Divine Masculine Twin Flames in front of you. I did a read for myself last night too. I might read that if this doesn't go too long. I did want to tell you I watched, I watched two movies yesterday. Rattlesnake, which is about... Uh, what would you do to save the life of your child, basically? You know, what would you sacrifice? Would you sacrifice your life or another person's life for your child to live? And it was kind of interesting movie. Uh, the other one was a, a uh, The Awakening of, of Madi uh, Wachenbrook. And, of course, it was about a Jewish mother and, his, and her son <laughs> in the week that Dark Mother's been coming up all week. It was very interesting looking at that that template now versus when I was growing up, which was very typical for me, and seeing it in a very different light. So I'd like to see how you guys react to that as well. And I meditated just for a moment, and the messages were Mazel Tov, and that the wild horse is coming in to the tamer for another hug. So very beautiful energies there. All right, so getting in with the read today. It's October 27, 2019. 27 is the Ace of Wands. That new passion, new creativity, new sexual mm, person or, or drive, attraction. But it's very much about that new inspiration coming in with the Ace of Wands. 27 is also 9, which is all about compassion, selflessness, endings, the hermit, the collective consciousness going within. And the day adds up to 49, which is a 4, which is the Emperor or structure, stability, building, the lower manifestations of survival here on this earth. The 49 is also the Nine of Cups, the Get Your Wish card. We have the Ace of Wands and the Get Your Wish card today. So there may be someone getting a little sex today. <laughs> it can just be creative or it can be anything that inspires you. And also here it was raining today and it is Sunday. Today is Sunday and it rained. <laughs> so. I woke up at 38 this morning, which is the Queen of Cups, and she was very prevalent in the reads that I've done so far. And the Syrian Starseed deck, which is the main deck in these reads, uh, was cut at 1123, which is Justice and the King of Wands. And the Lovers was right smack in the middle today. And it was interesting because the Tower came up as how the Divine Masculine sees himself today, and that was how... The feminine read came up for me yesterday as me seeing myself as the tower. So that was very interesting how the masculine and feminine dance between the same energies. So the read was finished at 1144, which is the justice of 11 and the 44 of the four of cups, the mastering, grounding, and integrating. It's also that master number of the four, four, the 11. Whenever a master number comes up, it tends to um, resonate or uh, bring up all of the, the, um, the vibrations of all of the master numbers, the 11, 22, 33, and 44. The numbers here today, there wasn't much in numbers on the code line. There was no numbers at all, but it was funny because I ended up writing a zero with a line through it and then another zero, which is the way the cards show it with a little squiggly line through it, like a sleepy eye. So there's one eye with a line crossed through it and another sleepy eye. So that might be some how some masculines are feeling out there right now. The uh, major arcana for this read were the lovers, karma, which is just is judgment, reason, which is the emperor, star, tower, star seed, which is like the fool. And before the read, we had strength and solar deity, which is the sun. And after the read, we had the wheel, the great wheel, which is the wheel of fortune and the chariot. So we had a lot of majors here in this read today. Six in the main read, two before and two after within these cards. There was one pentacle, three three wands and one sword. So no cups in this read, but a, a lot of major arcana. And the only court card was the page of swords. The queen of wands did come up before the read and the page of swords, but that was it as far as the characters. The numbers that came up were the sequence five, six, seven, eight, laid and straight. And we had double fives and double sixes and three in a more minor sense also came up. So 56, the two of swords, 78, which is the 10 of pentacles, the family. Five, six, seven, eight, that sequence, 131, and the numbers three, and then 35 came up in a more minor sense as well, which is the Wounded Warrior and the Mary Magdalene energy. 
So the code line were, was all about love and change. That was it for the numerology cards today. Love and change, that's all there is. Um, and it makes me think of uh, Sonia's tag song. Um, love changes everything. I don't know if you, you're familiar, but that was the theme coming up here for sure. So safety and security root chakra issues were coming up. That red energy, the I am presence of the page of swords. The message, the word, the student of light, the immature or just little bit of communication, the sliding scale, sliding scale insulin, so diabetics were coming up today, um, maybe news about um, diabetic news or a child with type 1 DM or diabetes. Also, um, with social security and safety and security, both of those coming up, the I am of the mask and see, being able to see bad spirits in thoughts or words. But love changes everything, so they're able to see that. Um, and the mask, and also saying, I, seeker of social security. So security within being social. So maybe they're just more comfortable in social environments than not, or vice versa. But love, and then love, and then change. So it's all about love changes everything. And then the minnow is coming up, right? Because the SS minnow. The minnow is the small fish. The skipper feels small. So he projects onto Gilligan. Love changes everything though, doesn't it? As you watch the series and you see their relationship develop. So getting right into this read. Where did my thing go? Okay. And forgive me, I'm still sweating from my run, so. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles here, okay? So working with crystals in that picture. And then the Strength card, the Solar Deity, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles here. Strength, Solar Deity, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. And it's funny, I'm telling you I'm sweating now because right after I laid those cards down, sweating came in. And for me, that's whenever there's a lot of mass and energy coming in. That was at 12, 10 p.m. for me today. And all aces were upright except for the Ace of Cups today in this read. Aligning with desire, working out details, um, strong or Leo, exposed or Leo, and that always can be ego as well, energized, queen of wands, imbalanced, in debt, scammed or scammer or inequitable relationship, and working on it. The queen of cups hanging out with new perspectives on coming together in joy. Grounding and integrating an offer of love to the devil or Capricorn waving while implementing a plan. Offering a new life and truth to the past, the family, the Ten of Pentacles family reversed, dysfunctional or loss of family member, draining financially or loss of legacy after a battle or conflict or competition is over, the King of Swords resting and connecting in the 5D with news, message, a small communication or a child spreading the word about the awakening to new perspectives hanging in limbo, and to be wise. After the King of Swords, in a fight with family or family legacy, lineage, or family drain, brings to life, uh, brings life to the truth of the past. Hanging out, inverting for blood to rush to their head, to expedite messages to the 5D in meditation, or to get better sleep or rest, so that might be helping someone. Spending time at the country house or ranch, wearing whatever you want for a change, playing ball, baseball, or golf, or slinging the word, hung out to dry by church or 5D, or hands are tied, restricted to small communication, or message to protect sacral or root energies when relaxing. Using sacral third energy, orange, to blanket the root and legs, armed with the truth. The energy that comes in all around his lower half is proof of the truth for the Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine. And that was at 1227, which is the Hangman and the Ace of Wands, very much the energies today. A blanket of energy that consumes you in love. So this is talking of the Masculine awakening to the connection and finding the proof he needs that he's actually connecting to the Divine Feminine. As we turn the page, it's 1228. 12 is the Hangman and 28 is the Two of Wands. Hanging out relaxing, working with crystals or with their hands or in nature, aligning with their true desires, all the notches on their bedposts or projects in their office, cracking codes now powerless to family financial drain, or dysfunctional members or lineage, a child or partner spending all your money, or clinging to family wealth despite disempowerment, near death, after death, dead tired, totally drained by family or too many in your space, one in particular, 
expensive curtains, dresses, useless medical appointments, or donating to a large powerful establishment who already has plenty of money, or a big institution falls and along with it, the employees, or putting dogs and animals before family members, disowning the child or parent starting to lose their marbles. With the fall of the patriarchy is the fall of the kept woman or kept daughter or girl. So realize that with the fall of the patriarchy, anyone who's fallen under that and felt comforted by their parents' money, which we can all relate to, um, also falls. The heart-to-heart -heart conversations here, and beneath that is playfulness, home and stability being looked at, and the Queen of Wands as well, with flame present always. Home and stability being looked at, and the Queen of Wands as well with the flame being present and the Queen of Wands aware of that always. Clinging to social security or safety and security, the root safety and security issues, in a painful end, betrayal of sharing energy with two partners and or multiple children, he already promised a rose garden. The Grim Reaper with, a, with bad aim or a man in a woman's body who acts like a man, butch, or vice versa, a woman in a man's body who seeks vengeance because he feels or he she feels she can't compare to the natural women. Split or spilt wines. I wrote split though. Split wine or spilt wine. It could be urine too. Split urine. I don't know what that means, but it's coming up. Spilt wine and nuts or shells on the floor. The point about five, six, seven, eight inches from foot to sole. If a sole is apparent, lover's triangle with siphoning as opposed to cutting one out as time is running out in the hour, hourglass about to break. Curtains about to be cut down or feet exposed hiding behind the curtain was only a matter of time in the 3D. 88 comes up with abundance and 77 with spirituality here in the numerology deck is the underlying energies. Uh, tripping up, forced to drop facade, break patterns, rebalance to build new ways of being authentic to self. Ongoing process as well as constantly changing, you always need to love yourself first. Family and emotional cycle complete with insecurities or loss of tools in divorce, break in commitment or contract, or new spirituality, alternative outside the box of societal norms or tradition, or being manipulative to gain emotional fulfillment. The queen of swords with light and sword very sharp, ready to cut out clingy Taurus or religion or divorce never quite complete due to lawyers want more money. So they may be dragging on. Or bragging that she got his tools in divorce with a smirk on her face along with the pearls or spiritual dark night that never quite hits bottom or ends. And that's 1257, the hangman and the three of swords. The separation, the heartbreak, the three-way situation where everyone gets hurt. Silks everywhere, indigo, violets, and gold leaf and casino floors. White, reds, and gold, authentic Chinese wear and stuck curtain pulls. More silk to protect the white silk from getting dirty. It's ridiculous. It never ends. Or karmic who insists you give all your money to your religion when the religious structure already looks like a casino and all the money you put into it. So the karmic may be insisting that you give money to the church, but you, you don't, you know, you've always done it just to make them happy, but are realizing why are you giving all this money to this structure that already looks like a casino, like it's, it's, gushing with wealth. The Queen of Swords with religious leader in her pocket. Watch out that she's not planning to leave you with the religious person you're giving all your money to. Clinginess, near death, dead tired, work that never dies, or clinging to work because it feels like it's all you have left. Hanging in limbo, just wanting to sleep or be lazy. Otherwise, two lovers and abundance and heart-to-heart -heart conversations with possibly lazy kids or lovers. The Divine Masculine stuck in limbo in fear of full transformation and loss of abundance when actually counterproductive. With restraint, he limits his abundance, thinking he can collect the sexual energies from both women and use it in his work and just keep things the way they are, where recently is karma, the judgment card. A final decision suddenly, judgment, announcement, or a call to action Sudden orgasm or epiphany or explosion. 
Sunshine energy, kids, Leo, ego. Finding happiness with self as sexual energy is offered out of a wake-up call to offer new life. Energy to help him drop his burdens and responsibilities. End the battle, conflict, competition, the game. Even throw the game. At home for the house, union with twin, in wake-up call to action, grounding and integrating an offer of love out of nowhere, making him happy and feeling very exposed. The foundation is the Seven of Wands reversed, defenseless to energies that come in and others' attacks, but no longer caring. It is what it is. Good news, success, attention, leading the way to manifest big time and dumping the rest, purging it out, pushing her down, lifts me up. Clearly, sudden event, orgasm, epiphany, but he is inspired by the messenger of truth. Messages that come out of being pushed to your emotional limits. With attention comes clarity, sudden explosions of inspiration, and then a need to cry or purge when new messages of truth come in. The central energy here is the lovers upright, out in the cold together, dumping emotional attachments that don't serve around the king of swords and the queen of pentacles. A new passion and growth comes out of announcements, judgments, and calls. Offers a new way forward to let go of burdens and conflict energy around him that doesn't serve. And that was at 123. Jump. 123 is the Magician and the King of Wands. Bleeding out, betrayal, painful ending of three-way heartbreak, separation, lovers, and challenged by the Page of Swords, news, message, child, with the light, the imbalance, debt, inequity. Devil's addictions and codependencies behind it of the relationship. Walking away and within to end emotional cycle of unhappiness in unfair sharing amongst family members. Over the loss, grief, and regret, the Queen of Wands refuses to move or work on strike again. Or with devil, Capricorn addictions or codependencies behind her. Or the Knight of Pentacles reversed, still and defenseless, trapped between the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. The hermit reversed, um, maybe coming out, or those the Knight of Cups reversed and the Knight of Pentacles reversed could be kids dealing with this energy as well. The hermit reversed, coming out in a bold move or travel to choose left, the new, the more divine feminine, the twin, to end three-way situation, a lover's date or a meal to talk, finding peace with the emperor reversed, his back turned, out of control or ego death, his need to face the karmic and implement a new plan with angel or to be patient to make a bold move forward to stop offering love to Leo and her ego, nursemaid, caretaker, Viking princess or olive head, Greek or Italian or Middle Eastern or Pisces Leo crying a lot or pushed to their emotional limits at work or place of co-creation or the masculine stop offering handouts to those who refuse to do their fair share or refusing to offer love to the nursemaid or high priestess overwhelmed at work or women and men not respecting one another or pushing them, both of them pushing each other to their emotional limits to get the outcome that he wants at work. The men may look down upon women as weak employees who will do whatever they say if they're nice to them or flirt with them or are mean to them or socialize with them. Now crowning a masculine is the emperor reversed with a message with a message of love and union, letting go to repair, dump burdens, and rise to the occasion with good news, attention, success, and leading the way out of the leading the way out of a did I write there? Possibly out of a uh, out of a pattern, tired of the same old thing and laziness. So someone needing to take the lead because other people aren't doing their fair share or leading the way where they're supposed to. Rising to the occasion with good news, attention, success, and leading the way out of a pattern, tired of the same old thing and their own and other people's laziness. Divorce, breaking contract from norms to alternative outside of the box thinking, exploration away from or after looking or living in the past. The war now over, it's time to heal and forgive, have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and talks to find peace. The Empress and the High Priestess standing in judgment of the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And before these two were coming up 
several times yesterday and today as the old biddies, you know, the older people who are stuck in their ways who may still have pre very much prejudices and things like that. So they're coming up again today. But they can mean multiple things. So the Empress and the High Priestess standing in judgment of the Divine Masculine and Feminine, them stealing from the suffering, purging the Emperor reversed as lovers, twins, in a deep bond or connection, and the others being energy vampires, basically. Dysfunctional fantasy family of karmic, stealing from the divine feminine suffering and announcements, with the emperor reversed in ego death, patient with announcements or messages online or TV regarding romantic lovers out in the cold, the twins and her children, with messages of truth in a bold move, while the teen children, also in a bold move, um, withhold love or or maybe jealous of or insincere with a Leo and Pisces, or strong nursemaid and the high priestess and Viking princess, and possibly let go at work. And that was at 151, the magician and the king of swords. Or there's a generation gap here, where the youngins let the old biddies have, have it now, right? Where they always were told, told to be polite to your elders. I was getting where the grandchildren have an uprising here. The youngins let the old biddies have it. Lovers felt abandoned but bonded in a pact as the kids come together and make a pact of their own, spreading the word and drinking or making their own potions, inspired to be more authentic and not give love to those they don't like, even relatives, mothers, aunts, their friends, and grandparents as well, indigo children taking a stand. Soon, the star, defenseless to energies or tax, healing, forgiving, and falling on face or from grace, lacking faith. The star, or it could be Aquarius person, with Aries, Taurus, or Libra, turning their face away while giving the mic to others to talk. Pisces, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, and Sagittarius's, possibly at work or a ceremony with honorable mention, or not agreeing with the judges at a performance. A child or queen of wands, star performer, or athlete may be injured here on strike, fell, and hurt themselves, or had to sit out, or just... Um, or, or just fell while they were performing, lowering their score, or someone crossing the picket line may get tripped up, passing off the baton or stepping down and handing off the position. Justice and Hierophant, or Libra and Taurus, or one person, deceivingly patient or coming together at work, church, viewing, hospital, or ceremony, or suddenly put in the spotlight, feeling attacked, and judged, healing from a fall or a foolish action in the early morning hours or by the new moon, taking one step at a time in the star or coming together with the star, with a judge and hierophant or Aquarius, Libra, and Taurus, deceptively calm. Someone may have counted their eggs before they were hatched. The devil made me do it, someone claims. It wasn't my fault. The divine masculine seeing himself as the tower. Suddenly, home or in union, expressing feelings and energy exchange and spreading the word about jealousy and sincerity and refusal to give or receive love. Feeling trapped or a prisoner of Leo, pacifier or ego, and this could be a person who literally is a pacifier, or prisoner is strong or hostage of Leo and or ego. Let your friends help masculines, express your love, give your relationship a chance, there's unrequited love, Past life relationship and attraction all came up for the masculine here. Sudden events, explosion, epiphany at home with kids and or about Leo and or ego and or anxieties. Prisoner, hostage situation. Heart to heart conversations with lovers and or kids suddenly out of nowhere. About dark night, near death and aligning and codes. Around the masculine or how he's seen is the five of wands reversed. As the Queen of Swords speaks about meditation and 5D, one night stands, and over the tower again. Or a need to hold back passions or falling short on energy and letting go to repair. And the King of Pentacles reversed, ungrounded at least, or with loss of money or status. And this is at 217, the High Priestess and the Star. No more conflict when letting go in 5D, like falling off the wagon, just get back up again when you lose. Suddenly the battle's over, lacking faith in downloads, healing and shining their light, being a star with attention and finding peace as the King of Cups, unconditional love. So love very much so came up today and change. New moon, 
patience and coming together to co-create. The Knight of Cups reversed, refusing to give or receive love, is the avoid dance. Walking away from loving self when you do that, especially with twins. If you refuse to give or receive love, you're doing it to yourself, especially if you're doing it to your twin. The Six of Wands is good news, victory, success, and attention leading the way. And the King of Wands is incomplete when gets attention in the 3D world, looks away from the sealed divine feminine who's in another world. He's easily distracted by anything the Queen of Wands does, good or bad. She knows his triggers. In downturn, slow down, retrogrades, or slow motion, it's just the vacuum effect to build momentum forward when things go direct. When the circle of energy goes one step back, the truth comes forward to Justice, Judge, and Libra from his bond with the Divine Feminine, the Twin Flame. Coming together to co-create, he knows his Divine Feminine has his back. The work is slow but stable, in exile from the group, Libra and Cancer, or in exile, makes a bold move to move or travel in a painful end and or betrayal in need of help, money, or opportunity, now surrendering and giving it up. A trip up to drop facade, break patterns, and stop the act. Working to align, defenseless to energies and attacks, suddenly the battle over with judgment or announcement, call to action with lovers challenged by news, message or child, healing shining light or a star and dreams come true, but then fall on their face. The emperor reversed or king of wands takes the lead at work. If the emperor reversed isn't the same person and he falls on his face, the, em the king of wands is upright here, may actually step in now to take over in his place. Takes the lead at work in a downturn after, after having been exiled and now back in charge, a painful surrender in need of help. Working or details, working out details or with others in judgment or with your hands, working with your hands, along with this judgment or final decision or announcement or wake up call to action after being in deep, deep sleep, so not awake. Defenseless to energy now and people's attacks, but no longer cares as lovers the emperor reversed falls into ego death. Challenged by news, message, or child, out of the mouths of babes, a sudden event blasts him into the spotlight, into the lead. The battle is over suddenly by falling on face and from grace and lacking faith, all of a sudden is good news, attention, success, and rises again into surrender. Attention for the emperor reversed and any abuse of power that's been going on or ego death now Defenseless to lover's dream come true, suddenly ends battle, conflict, falling into leadership position through surrender. So that was a pretty cool read. Actually, I think I will read you. I'll, so that was the read for the masculine. And I'll show you the cards. But I'll read you what I got for, the, for my energy actually last night for the feminine because it relates to all you guys. I'll show you the cards now first before I forget. I'm sorry if I've forgotten before, which I have a couple times. My apologies. All right, so the underlying energy there. Sorry about the light. We have the Eight of Crystals. And then the recent past here is the Karma or Judgment card with that tower there. The underlying energy is here, which I'll lift this up so you can see underneath that. That's the foundation, the Seven of Flames. Okay. And then right in the middle is that Lover's card where you see the rainbow there. The other underlying energies, and then the Emperor Reverse um, crowning the reed, scrolling across here, going into the star energy here in the near future. And the mass and seeing himself is the tower. And around him is the five of flames, that was reversed. And then the star seed card there, which is also reversed like the fool. And then we end up here on the six of flames or the six of wands with the Trinity, which is the three of pentacles. That was upright today. The Destiny or the Wheel of Fortune card was reversed, and then we have the Five of Pentacles, which was upright today, and then above that was the Chariot card, and then we end up with that Surrender card on top, the Wounded Warrior reversed. And then just that side note was that was that um, two of the Two of Pentacles there. All right, so 
the feminine read that I did last night, this was at s around 7.30, it was 7.33 to 34 that I was finished, which is the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Wands. And the major arcana was just the strength from the tower with the solar deity or the sun after the read. There were two wands, three pentacles, three swords, and one wand. The court cards were Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and after the read, the Knight of Cups. So for the... For, the feminine energy with a lot of characters yesterday where it's usually more about the masculine having a ton of people around them. We had 10-10 come up. The 15 came up on the code line for the devil, so the shadow side of the 7 and the 8. And 7 and 8 were very prevalent today in the masculine read with the double 7 and double 8 of abundance and spirituality as well as in the coding. We had 5, 6, 7, 8. So very much the, the Jewish mother was coming up in the code line for this read. Just like the movie I watched last night, but the movie was after... I had written this code line here, and it was basically Ma TV. <laughs> um, see, um, Mazel Tov was coming up, the Tov definitely coming up here, and the and taking the risk. The Tower energy was coming up here regarding that Seven of Orbs, which is that, you know, the Liar, Cheater, Thief card, but it's really inherently about risk. And then the Eight, and also the Eight. <laughs> All right, Eight, okay, which is the Eight of the Dance of the Masculine and Feminine Within. Music was coming up, synchronicities, moderation, and manifestation. Also with TOV, or T-O-V, was coming up the tone of, using the tone of voice and how you can tell um, the difference in people and, dis and discerning by tone of voice. Treaty of Versailles came up, which is what ended World War I. Transit of Venus, threshold of visibility, trial of void. And of course, it means good in Mazel Tov. And also, the provinces, the one of 21 provinces of Mongolia came up as TOV, which was bringing up the, the term, the Mongolian idiot. And um, that brought me back to the movie about the child and just protecting your child and how other people can hurt them, but what whose life is worth more than whose you know, and protecting your child, and would you kill someone else to protect your child, that kind of energy was coming up. Um, and also UFOs came up in the coding for that read. Um, the orbs, there were definitely some orbs, UFO releasing glowing orbs into the formation, into a formation in West Massachusetts, and that was January 14, 15. It was pretty cool if you want to watch that YouTube video. Um, they posted another one on 1 2015 that was in a separate location, so it was pretty cool. So the read for the feminine energy here last night was the Knight of Wands upright in the underlying energy. Rushing in passionately, the King of Wands shaman connects standing up for themselves. Moving, ending marriage, not telling sovereign though, holding information back. Recovering to be free and taking a risk. Sovereign and wounded warrior exposed, energized, inspired by grief or child grieving, not expressing feelings or exchanging energy or one child's inspired and the other one's grieving. Uh, let go of three batons. The King of Cups being done, but then more show up. It's like they, they drop the three batons, but more batons keep showing up for them to drop. The goat standing on the mountaintop in, the moon, in moon boots or shaman with long line of tails energetic trail proving his past that he is tired of climbing the knight of wands with delays in travels and communication ending a family cycle inequity for all the hard work that he has done detoxing chaos and reaping little reward for all he's giving and to all he's given where are they when he needs someone and tied to the devil forever by kids finances and career came up as well as soulmate beneath it Sudden jealousy, recovering from hidden romance, presently, and that the devil karma that came up, it can just be a Capricorn as well. It doesn't have, not every karmic is a devil. But recovering from hidden romance, presently starting over in love, hanging out in limbo, romancing the stone out the gate, scissors, magnet, coin, bird feeder, sweet tweets, and iron wind vane, and scroll work, red pumps and matching tie, inspector gadget, and, and or clouseau, Examining the evidence closely to understand why the transformation and how. Crosses distant branch of the family tree. Number four comes up with perseverance here and beneath it was love, number six. Four and six, the lovers and the emperor. 
which cross into this read. New moon, deception before dawn, getting wish, holy grail, lovers holding back passions, falling short in truth, dolphins leaping, on cruise taken, horse legs displayed when laying on back through the curtain. And that comes up with the, um, uh, what's it called? The centaur, the half man, half horse, showing the horse legs. Because the, the masculine's like the centaur, very strong horse legs. So there was a reference to that. So the truth, the truth is in the pen. Lovers on strike, and this was at 906. Nine is the hermit, six the lovers. So now we have the lovers with the hermit and the lovers with the emperor. The truth of the knight of wands, which could be the divine masculine, doesn't have to be, holding back feelings, yet moving to sovereignty and reaping rewards for a moment in limbo, hanging out, persevering in the truth, victorious. And by the way, all kings and queens were upright in this read, all. The recent past was the Knight of Pentacles pushing onward with burdens, grieving, and being present all at the same time. And then I was getting connection. A new life offer at, ten, at 910, begin again, a new life offer and truth of the Ten of Pentacles family that the worst is over in the war as the Knight of Wands rushes out, moving away from them. The foundation is the Page of Swords reversed with their head cut off. So someone might, you know, cut their head off with their words. Grounding, saving, holding on the King of Pentacles with an opportunity to walk away now. With immature mean words or a child's back talk, the central energy here was the Queen of Pentacles with a negative past with the King of Swords and Queen of Pentacles jealousy and difficult kids around them. At night, Lobster makes his way down the path. The challenge being the risk. The fool leaps to the Scrooge with the gold coin, the Christ consciousness, the unity consciousness. The Queen of Swords rolls out the carpet. For the present moment, suddenly, the lobster appears out of nowhere. Suddenly, prisoner of dreams, working to align or makes a break for it, with negative self-talk or childish behavior at work. Exposure, kids' energy of happiness after battle, the Queen of Cups receives an offer of love. The worst over, the stage is set to leap, to slow down, to see her in slow motion. Ooh, Wow. The King of Wands and the King of Pentacles hug and then they chase each other. So this can represent two men or a man and a woman or two women. Here it was really representing the twins coming together, having both mastered. A new love in need of peace, standing up for self to the King of Pentacles making a speech in front of the family. Now strength of the eye of the tiger and Horus, no options for the wounded warrior jealous of third party connection with truth. Coming together and holding tongue, difficult memories of the past stuck in emotions. The Knight of Pentacles reversed, a prison of sexual energy, chaotic in detox, with the King of Wands and King of Pentacles nightmare in detox, like the King of Wands in detox while the King of Pentacles is in runner chaser nightmare. With the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords new love and no peace fending off others, soon, for the feminine yesterday was ten of swords reversed that the worst is over good news back in the saddle leading the way to manifest starting over in love coming together in joy clearly the queen of cups and is unhappy alone free to leap to the gold coin whenever she chooses standing up to the empress reversed and high priestess reversed here's the biddies again together the taurus queen of cups defending taurus with two women or old fogies i am as the feminine, the tower, rejection and vulnerable, the two of cups in another world, near death, dead tired, last minute offer with only, with the only thing left before the fall, the bold move to clear things up, suddenly in an explosive moment, free yourself for the feminine, getting to know each other and then worth waiting for. Around the feminine energy or how seen is the queen of cups in a turn of fate, with truth to justice and or Libra about King of Wands, possibly with hemorrhoids or his inner child inspired. And that's 938, the Hermit and the Queen of Cups. Clear blocks of the Eight of Wands reversed, holding back feelings, delaying a little bit at a time instead of giving all, blasting all your feelings at once. Unhappy alone, shedding light on self, um, being the patient angel. Music came up, synchronicities, moderation, and manifestation, but even more so for the feminines was healing. Be strong, taming the beast of burden. 
the Ten of Pentacles family of the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups without peace, standing up to the King of Pentacles speech about getting caught with their pants down, not sleeping, rising above, letting go of attachments to the Queen of Wands. Exposing all, the Queen of Cups strong or just taming the beast, refusing to work or move, hanging out with the Queen of Swords, exposing all about family suffering, jealousy, and coming together. Frustration, third energy, and stealing from the Emperor reversed, who's out of control or going through ego death, to store third energy. Suffering in silence with lover, King of Cups, unconditional love. The Knight of Wands moving after the King of Wands connection, standing up for self with negative self-talk, sudden bad news of the Queen of Cups disabled or unable to move or work on strike, being still the Queen of Pentacles challenged by risk of the downloads, that the worst is over and holding back being strong with the Ten of Pentacles family. The Knight of Wands rushing in, since the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands are both out of commission, bad news of the Queen of Pentacles being strong, the challenge being the risk of the bomb being dropped, orbs seen by others, orbs, or sudden event, explosion, orgasm, epiphany, of the worst being over as I'm losing my voice, the Queen of Cups holding back, delaying dream family, exposed and happy about suffering and jealousy of coming together in joy, stealing back energy from the king, the emperor reversed, the lovers stressed out becoming king of cups, or in other words, unconditional love. All right, so I hope that was helpful for you guys. Drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, your nature, and rise and be loved. Bye.